Welcome to Naxmith. I'm going to show you the best cordless DeWalt tools in my collection. First up is this portable bandsaw. I consider this tool the tool that I wish I had bought sooner. I seem to ask myself a lot recently uh, how I've gone so long without it. These tools are uh, affectionately referred to in the business as a porta band. Uh, the blade I'm using in this video here is a 14 TPI or tooth per inch. 14 tooth per inch is a very common blade size and so is 18 tooth per inch. Other great features of this saw include an LED light uh, with a 20 second delay and it also features a tool display change. The uh, jaw has a 2.5 inch cut capacity as well. Next up is this gyroscopic screwdriver. I use this tool nearly every single day. This drill has a really cool two position handle and just by pushing the button you can flip it over real quick into a pistol grip. It has really bright LEDs on the front of it as well and a quick change uh, bit holder in the front. I'm struggling not blocking the view of the camera here. <laughs> it comes with this cool little bit holder as well. Um, it'll hold two extra bits plus the one that you have in the end of the drill. One of the features I love the most is this battery indicator light on the top of the drill. Every time you pull the trigger it'll show you uh, what percentage of the battery is left. Here I'm demonstrating the clutch on the front of the drill. It has a 15 position selector on the front of it for doing delicate screws. The 8 volt batteries seem to last a very long time. They're also very easy to take in and out of the drill and they charge quickly too which is a really nice feature. The operation of this drill is a little tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll really like it. You uh, pull the trigger and then you just tilt your hand in the direction you want the drill to go. And The more you tilt your hand, the faster the drill goes. One of the best things you can do is pair this with a right angle attachment. And then you have... right angle and an extremely narrow right angle as well. This drill becomes a very powerful tool when combined with a right angle attachment and a really nice bit index. Third on the list is this compact wet dry shop vac. The hose for this stores quickly and easily and they put a couple of attachments uh, in some key places on the vacuum. The small one being stuck in the carrying handle. And then on the reverse side of the vacuum is a larger one that uh, you can also pull off the vacuum and stick on the end of the hose. I use this vacuum all the time to clean up little messes around the shop. and works great to detail vehicles with so you don't have to drag out a huge shop vac and an extension cord. If you want to operate this vacuum and you don't have a battery or you have a dead battery, you still have the option to run it using this uh, 120 volt uh, cord that it comes with and it stores away with a nice little cord keeper on the end. This is one of the few tools that also has what's called a dual port. It'll still also run the older 18 volt battery. I wanted to show this vacuum running a little bit so I've uh, removed my metal miter saw and uh, I'm just vacuuming up the uh, chips that have collected underneath of it, that's steel and aluminum. If you want to see why my uh, miter saw has a turntable underneath of it, I made a video on uh, making this and I'll put a link to it in this video. This vacuum is a wet dry and uh, if you're going to vacuum up water, you need to empty the uh, debris out of it and then uh, make sure you take the filter off as well. These vacuums come with a nice HEPA filter and they are rinsable and reusable, so they do last a long time. Here I'm uh, using this vacuum to suck up about half a gallon of water. Um, and this footage isn't sped up, this is real time. And the hose on this vacuum will stretch up to a little over five feet. It is pretty crust resistant and durable. Um, the tank on this vacuum will also hold uh, two gallons of liquid. And then before storing the vacuum um, or putting the filter back in it, you want to make sure to empty the water out of it. 
and you need to uh, dry it out as well. Depending on what you're vacuuming up, you leave some moisture in there and then put this in a service truck that might sit in the heat, say, it can develop some pretty nasty smells. Do yourself a favor and uh, always make sure the vacuums are dried out or at least pretty dried out before you ever put them away and store them for a long time. This is certainly one of the most used tools I have. I uh, carry it with me when I do service work as well. Take it in the customer facilities and everything to clean up the messes I've made before I leave. Last but uh, certainly not least is this 20 volt cordless quarter inch shank router. This router features a uh, variable speed dial and simple on and off switch. The router bits are super easy to change. The uh, lower half of the router just slips off really easily, giving you access to the collet. Um, they did get rid of one wrench by giving you an arbor lock. Uh, so if you hold in that yellow button, it'll actually lock the arbor. And then you can just tighten the collet down with a wrench. And the whole body will just slip right back together again and lock right back in place. The router plate's adjusted by turning that black ring on the lower part of the body. This router also features an LED light that comes on whenever the router is powered on. And as usual, with all DC powered, battery powered tools, there's a break, so whenever you shut it off, the router bit comes to an almost instantaneous stop. And for a little demo, I'm just uh, routing on a piece of Corian solid surface. I'm tracing the outside with a, a quarter inch round over bit. One of the nicest features of this router by far is the fact that it doesn't have a power cord. Um, when you're doing large routes, power cords always uh, getting in the way or getting hung up on something and causing you to ruin an otherwise perfect route on a very delicate and expensive piece of material. Thanks for watching everyone. Links for all these tools can be found in the video description below. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Guess I better go clean all this up.